Oh, I love cooking, man. I love cooking. Oh. Okay, so I'm having breakfast. The time is 8.49. Um, the plan is to go to the shops to pick up some of the ingredients for today. Just missing a few key items. So we'll go pick those up. Um, yeah, I'm still, <laughs> my brain's still waking up. I think I'm starting to fall in love again. I'm no Prince Charming. Okay, so we're back. We have all our key ingredients. Let's begin prepping. Okay, so here's the truth, guys. One thing I've been struggling with recently is finding something I'm interested in and then sticking to it. What would often happen, especially like pretty much all throughout my life, I'll find something I'm interested in and then after a while, I'll just quit. Like I just give up. <sighs> Gosh, I shouldn't have been talking whilst I'm cutting onions. And the truth is, right, at least for me personally, when I felt or accepted that I couldn't be really good at something compared to other people, I kind of just lost interest in that thing and I just, um, I just quit. So I was and ultimately, the people who have found their passion are people who, where I quit, they just stuck with this one thing for a really long amount of time, saw themselves improve, and then they became more interested in it, and as a result, it became their passion. And so for me, when I was kind of asking myself, okay, if the reason I drop all these things is because I feel like I'm not as good as other people, then what can I do to basically become better than other people? I was doing some research, of course, around this, and I came across this Quora post, which kind of summed up everything I'm trying to say perfectly. Very rarely will someone be passionate about something from the start. Find something you like or something you're talented at, and once you spend enough time to become an expert at it, trust me, you'll always enjoy doing it. Passion is that satisfactory feeling that comes as a result of forcing yourself to become skilled enough to beat others, putting you at the top of the world. I don't know, I was struggling with that thought a lot this past week, and I came across that quarter post and it kind of summed up exactly how I was feeling that I was never able to quite grasp on. So I just wanted to share it, I guess, um, if anyone else is kind of going through something similar. Okay, we're gonna start the actual braise. Start off by seasoning your meat. Here I've gone for a combination of spices and a list of them is here, because I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. Once you finish seasoning your meat, sear it in your braising vessel of choice. This is to brown the meat, which leads to flavor. And you're also gonna be left with what is known as fond, these little brown bits in the pan, which also leads to flavor later on down the line. And so remove your meat from the pan, add a tiny bit of oil and go in with your aromatics. And you basically just wanna sweat that off until nice and fragrant. And here I've gone for onions and garlic, but you can really use whatever you want. <laughs> then once your aromatics are thoroughly exercised, you wanna add your stock, which we're preparing now and add that in and basically at the same time scrape the bottom of the pan this is how we get those brown bits fond from earlier into the braising liquid which leads to more flavor down the line then add your meat and you don't want it to be fully submerged in the liquid you want your liquid to go up to about three quarters level of the meat does that make sense and let that simmer for a long period of time an accurate figure of what i did was this and so whilst that's happening, since that is a long period of time, we can prepare a side dish to kind of take up all that flavor and really make this dish pop. You can also clean up at the same time. And I've gone for like a bacon, sweet corn, pea, fried rice situation here. Okay, and so for the rest of the braise, once that time has passed, your meat should be fork tender, where you can get two forks and kind of pull it apart and it kind of, it's succulent. You know what I mean? You'll know it's succulent when you try it. If it's not fork tender, don't panic. Just let it cook for maybe about an extra 20 minutes and then come back. And if it's still not fork tender, just repeat that process. And eventually your meat will break down and it will become tender. Okay, so your meat should be fork tender. You can remove that from the pan and prepare that as desired. And with the leftover braising liquid, I'm gonna add some coconut milk, just because I want a bit of a creamy braising situation going on. And then I'm gonna season to taste and that's our braising liquid sauce done. You can then bring all your components together. And now you have a delicious turkey braised rice bowl. I hope you enjoy. Okay, so that tastes, I'm really happy with how that turned out. It tastes really good. There's always room for improvement though. And so for me this time, the huge learning thing, which I think I can share with you guys as well, is to always under season your braising liquid if you wanna use it, if you wanna reduce it and use it as a sauce later on. It was kind of fine in this case, just because I added a small amount and I had the kimchi and spring onions and the freshness and sourness to kind of balance that whole thing out. Under season your braising liquid, because if you're gonna reduce it as a sauce later on, and it's perfectly seasoned, you're gonna end up with something that ends up being too salty. So if you under season it, by the time it comes to reduce, you still have a lot of flavor room to work with. And you'd, yeah, you'd be able to add rather than remove. It's easier to add than remove, right? And so, yeah, that's my main takeaway, but it tastes really good. I do thoroughly recommend you make it. All the measurements and stuff you'll see in the video, because I've learned this thing, they'll be reflected in the ingredients I'm saying. If you have watched up this far, 
Thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.